we're going to have to uh, use our imagination here. So we're going to call it, say this is a piece of uh, round uh, uh, wood. It could, it could even be a, uh, a stair railing. One of them wooden stair railings. It could be a, uh, that's a little bit thick for it. Larger ones would be easier to work with, especially with a larger caliper. Uh, caliber. The um, the one I use for the 9mm was just a broom handle. Worked fine. And then the other thing we need is a, we would use a, a metal, a steel, uh, a steel rod. But, um, so we would calculate our turn. It's our one, our one turn in 10 inches. So we would take, we would take this thing here and we would mark, so we would mark on the end, we mark it here, say here and here, right? And then we roll it, roll it until it comes out. So it starts here, we have a mark, we roll this, there's our one turn. Now if we have, you know, if we have a precision, here's our one turn, right here. So here's our other mark. And we've had, if we uh, have precision scales and all that, and, and uh, protractor we can uh, we can do that without rolling but that's a way to get now I know that's one turn the other thing I gotta know is say I wanted to do um, a 10 inch uh, grab my uh, pen so if I want to if I want to do one turn in 10 inches and go this way 10 inches so I can make a mark on the edge where the edge of that um, our steel or our wooden cylinder was, and we come down this way. Oop, let's see. Okay. Come down this way and mark out ten inches here. Um, So we got 10 inches there. All right. And then, so ultimately what we want to do is we want to, this is one way to do it. There's some other ways, but um, we want to get, we want to get a couple things here. So number one, this angle, this angle that we see here, that is going to be, that's going to be the, uh, the angle that our cutting edge. So now if this, this is a really slow uh, twist uh, cutter, one, one turn in 52 inches, right? So one, uh, one-fifth of this be much shallower this mark would be down here but this angle here represents the angle that we're going to put on this cutter so we don't need any other tools other than the surface to lay this out and to compare this cutter angle to the angle we end up here so we're going to we could stretch this string, you know, I don't know if I can do it by myself or we can, uh, you know, we have whatever straight edge we have and we mark that angle as, much, as closely as we can, right? And that's all, this is all we need to, um, to get that cutter, uh, that cutter angle really close. And the other thing we want to do is we want to have some way of pushing this uh, cutter head through the barrel and a consist at a consistent rate. So 
what you can do, and this string's a little fat, it was par paracord's what it is, but we would start with it here, right, underneath, and we would set this on here, here, and bring this over here, and holding, and holding this, we would roll this, And not let we could we could glue this or tack it with a nail or whatever we had to do. But here's our one and ten. Uh, we go uh, a little bit further. But here's our one and ten. Our one turn and uh, ten twist. If we go around this thing, we can see it's a it's a consistent uh, line. So what what I would do from here. Is I would take, you'd want to stretch it tight. If this was a piece of wood, I could do that. I would stretch it tight. I would make sure it looked really even. And then I would take my pen or marker. I'll get it back on there. And uh, so we're going to roll this. one of these things you need more than two hands but we're gonna roll this on here all right we roll this on here We roll this on here and we mark. We go through and mark. We would mark that, trace this. The center of this. Let's see, I'm on this side. And we go through and I don't know how well this is gonna turn out here, but we would, we would go through and mark this all the way around. All the way around here. It's kind of sloppy, but like I said, it's hard to hold this thing together and and do this, but, um, we want a center line, and it's going to even out in the end, so we would, we would have our uh, wooden doll, we'd, uh, attach that, uh, attach one end of our string, some finer string than this, we would tack it on there, we maybe get some help to hold the, the one end tight and we would roll this up. Or we could maybe even, um, maybe even use a chalk line here, you know, chalk it up real good, lay this on here and you could roll this really careful to establish your, your line. But that's the point we want to establish this line. And what we take, take, uh, it's woods. So we could take a, uh, like a rat tail file and start cutting this groove in here right getting it a little deeper 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 along our line and once we got it so far we're going to take that file and whatever whatever diameter uh, file we're going to use we want to try to use a um, a diameter of um, a piece of uh, round stock we have because what we're going to do is once we cut that groove, we're going to lay that round stock in that groove. And that's going to be what that, uh, with this, uh, as we push it through, we'd have this on here 
in this groove and as we pushed it through it would turn whichever way this happens to be left hand so if I want to make a right hand I'd reverse I'd reverse this but we would cut this groove in and then when we got it closer we have a we take a board so we'll go on the other side here so we take a we make a, a holder for this and what I would do is I would take one uh, say I would take one board down here you're looking at it from the end I take a board and I'd mount a, a block on it and another one on this side and have it the same height so it would be higher it would be um, the top of it uh, the top of this would be even with this so be a block of wood here be a block of wood you know here It'd be these blocks of wood all together and this would form a channel this would form a channel and if we're looking at it and say in uh, 3d we'll go like this right and go like this and then we have our this board on the bottom and this um this would lay in this channel and we have this groove here and we take and lay our um this would be down in here and we lay our 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 rod across so it fell in and we would mark we would mark the top of the however this went through we'd mark this and we'd mark it up here and we cut the groove in here straight we cut it in straight until this could lay in here so then once the groove on this gets to depth we put it in here and we lay this in here and in there and we hope have some mechanism to hold it down and hold it all together and then every time we push every time we push this through it's going to follow that it's going to it's going to follow this uh this and turn the same way every single time and the only thing remaining to do after we have this and again this has to be long enough to, and it has to be longer than the, the barrel we're going to rifle with it so it has to be uh, that length plus the tool plus the tool on uh, each end right and what we would do is into the the end of this um, wooden cylinder we would inset um if we wanted six if we wanted six uh lands and grooves we would just take a, a hex key. I would take a hex key and cut it off, right? Cut it off and inset it into here in the center. And then on this end, rather than have this uh, this extension with, with a four-sided hole, I would have a, uh, a hex screw, cap screw, you know, with a, with a six-sided um uh, that way, every time I I wanted to index this, I would just take take this out of the screw, turn the screw back in, and I get six lines and grooves. This way, I could either get four, or I could get eight. Um, those are determinations to to make uh, later, but uh, so that's. Really, um, that's really all there is to it. I mean, you can once you make this, you set it up. You can have this on a workbench. I, if it's short enough, I like when I did that uh, pistol. I did it at the uh, kitchen table, drink my drinking my coffee um, on a Saturday midday. But just. The part I had, I made for, I lost there. I got rid of it. You know, it was just in a way, it was a one-time thing. But uh, simple enough to make another one. It's simple enough to cut a groove in there. And then, you know, to make that consistent, you know, in the beginning, you're, 
your line like this this line isn't great i would i would do it better if i had a solid piece and a, a helper or some other way to to uh focus on this rather than making a video but now um, what you can lay your you can lay your rat tail in this groove and you can move the wood through and that way any any imperfections in the in the track get get filed out as you go deeper and it becomes very consistent it becomes a very consistent turn, uh, twist rate. And then once you lay this in there, maybe maybe wrap it with uh, sandpaper, you know, to finish it up. And nice and so it's nice and smooth. It doesn't have any, you know, like hiccups in it. And but uh, that's all it takes, really. I mean, it's. Uh, they don't rifle, you know, some companies still rifle barrel with a uh, cut, cut rifle, uh, single point. This is what this is, single point. Other ones get it all in one pass. They got a uh, press and they, they, they broach all the way through. And then there's, uh, there's button rifling where they have a, a piece that they push through. It doesn't cut, but it displaces. So it actually forces out all it, uh, all those grooves in at the same time and it, and it twists. Um, and then I think there's hammer, hammer forged, but, uh, this is, that takes a lot of, uh, a lot of equipment. And this, this is something really you can do with, uh, literally you can do with a hand drill and a hacksaw and a, uh, a mill file, uh, maybe, uh, you know, taps and, and dies, but, uh, not necessarily. I mean, there's ways to get around, uh, you know, there's ways to get around having, uh, even uh, thread parts, but it's something that's, um, uh, that's doable at home in the event you ever need it. And I say, uh, Don't do as I say or as I do. Uh, nothing here is given as uh, as uh, marching orders to go out and to, to do anything. You're on your own as far as that goes, as are we all. And thanks for stopping by.